people who are supposed to see that things are done are not getting things done. Everything that had happened was done on head of basis. And we've been hearing funds coming in and where's all that funds from? Many of the things that have been uh, mentioned in the act have not been complied with. We look at most all power law, look at in province. At the same time, we look at most of all make you up something. Who can look him? Who can look him? But all by not make him. The major function of the NPRA is to restore livelihoods, resettle people who have been displaced by the cyclone, and to attend to infrastructure reconstruction. In reality, right in the villages and the hard hit areas have not quite seen restoration to what we expected to see, unfortunately. We're hearing about uh, 20,000, 30,000, the figure, but nothing in reality. There's millions pumped into the, country, into the province, but there's nothing in fact. 16th November 2007, Mr. Guba been hitting me plan. The night yet, I'm run away. I'm going run away, come here. I'm going come, come to house. Now, I'll ask the clan to accommodate the plan. I'll go to stop the place for three months, I think. Three months now. I'll ask the clan because I'm public. Then I'll ask the OIC to be in the plan. So, I'm not going to go back. I'm not thinking I'll go back to the slab. There are places that have to be resettled. There are people who are living in what is called the care centers, which I believe could have been given priority to ensure that the land must be accessed, uh, these people moved, and ensure that uh, their livelihoods uh, are restored, meaning they should have access to clean water, access to health services, education, and that has been lacking. And so the priority was wrong in, in, my, in my view. Uh, for example, there are a couple of schools that are not badly affected by the Guba disaster. But it seems the Empire were focusing on that one and forgetting the areas that were, uh, uh, that were badly affected. Somebody is stealing Oro people's money. Somebody is eating Oro people's money. And the people of Oro are yet to see restoration go to their villages, to their homes, in full. And that, that makes a lot of us very angry. And it's just not fair. That is daylight robbery happening in front of people of Oro. We'll get the Oro province supply blow Oro from here to Kokoda and Lisa Bridge, Tasolia. Now it's urgent, very urgent. We are really struggling because of the bridge and the road problem that we have. And it's really affecting our small, our small business people here. And the government of the day, they're not looking into this and trying to get funds secured for the road and the bridges that is affecting our province today. And it's a disaster. Mipla, especially Mipla or place Kanaka Mamaya. Mipla got big plawari. This a bridge that providing Mipla housing, food supply, marketing for soap, salt, kerosene. You plus a look down low Mipla or place Kanaka or Mama lo here. You plus a look in Mipla and plan important. But Mipla or place Kanaka Mama say give you support lo this la also talk one emia. X ya. Mila came, money stop, government money stop, Mila came. Working bridge, hurry up now. He got money stop or no God. Me ask him all government. Working bridge. 21 million kina seed money or mobilization money that was uh, uh, allocated has been depleted. It's only 600,000 kina left. And um, with this kind of money, we really can't do much. But uh, what we are trying to do now is to see if we can um, um, seek financial assistance from the government. NPRA's function under the Act is to uh, raise funds, is to coordinate and monitor the delivery of this, these services. And they, they could have tapped into the existing uh, 
line government agencies or there are proficient contractors out there who could be, have been delivering this. Proper coordinate, properly coordinated, they could have put these things out on tender. The five-year lifespan is expiring on the 5th of June next, uh, 2013. They, they don't have much time left now to do what they can. There is no money apart from that uh, 21 million that was released in, in 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, and now 2012, there was no funding. The people who had been working there had either ignored the normal budget cycle or did not have uh, sufficient knowledge as to the government financing system. And there are unaudited financial statements for the last four years. And the budget, if ever submitted, were not on time. And in this case, we found that they were working totally in isolation of the provincial government. They had not sought the advice of the, the existing line agencies, the government departments, and therefore they just lacked the totally lacked the knowledge about ensuring that they remain within the financial 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 cycle, the budget cycle. You may be created by the Act of Parliament, but you are put in, at a province to work and, and deliver a specific task. And in this case, they were put to save people of Oro. And to isolate themselves from provincial government, to me, is, is a total mistake. And uh, no wonder why they had difficult time over the last four years uh, uh, by way of not being funded. Many of the things that have been uh, mentioned in the Act have not been complied with. And this time we will comply with the Act. And also take into consideration that this is a statutory authority set up by the government. Uh, we will go by the um, uh, Finance Management Act. We will go by uh, the uh, Public Service Management Act. And we go by other relevant acts uh, to ensure that we are following what we are supposed to be doing. We take it from Burma. When the minister comes here after one hour, goes down to Burma, they will take it down. So, second group is taking down at Burma. <laughs> As vice minister responsible for NPRA, I sympathize with the people of Oro as you have been left to suffer too long. We only have one year left with the mandate and must work tirelessly to deliver the goods and services to our people. This forum is the way forward as it will guide us and will enable us to source funds from the national government. I once again congratulate your initiative in staging this forum. In the forum we brought people from all over the province whom we consulted, uh, listened to their aches and pains, and we listened to their strengths and their weaknesses, and they suggested things that they could do themselves. The initiative that's been taken uh, is very, very important because uh, once we have something in place, something that's marketable, and then we can take it up to the national government. And uh, not only national government, we can try to market it to the donor agencies so that uh, at least uh, you know, we can have some funds allocated to our province. Uh, my message to the uh, people of our province is that uh, bear with us. Uh, we have come in when there is no money and uh, we have to do the uh, cleaning up or putting the house in order first. And then we know exactly where we're going to go from. <laughs> 